explicit. <laughs> yeah, Brent says, I want an explanation too. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm looking for is an explanation. I'm not saying it's going to be right. I'm not saying I'm going to agree with you. All I'm saying is I want to hear what her reasoning is. Listen, I can't believe this, but I got 96 messages just on Facebook. And I'm going to try to get to as many as I can. It's going to be very, very difficult. But I'm going to try to get to as many of the comments I can. People are commenting on numerous things. Numerous things. Including, uh, you know, our conversation about John Legend. Is he really a man? I mean, I like his music, but uh. Woody writes, remember John is the new Negro. That's right, Woody. (laughs) He is a new Negro. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god speaking of new negroes uh how many people are gonna watch the oscars this weekend on the oscars this weekend if i'm wrong about that set me straight you know there's a big movement right now inside black hollywood to, to, to boycott the oscars because nobody black got nominated that's one way to go the real question is are black viewers going to watch now, Chris Rock, he's entertaining. He's, he's very funny. Uh, uh, you know, he's got the charisma. Uh, he'll be hosting. Is he enough of a draw to make you watch? I'll tell you one thing I thought was very, very interesting. You tell me if you picked up on this, because I pick up on most things. And I'm not telling you I'm a big Oscar watcher, viewer, because I'm not. You know, I watch it from here to here. And I watched it when Hallie won, because it was Hallie. And she was looking damn fine that day. Whew. That was pre all this nonsense with the baby daddies, okay? And um, what I want to know, are black people going to watch? That's what I want to know. Are you going to watch the Oscars? Because that's what it really means. I mean, that's what it comes down to. If they lose viewership, then maybe the Oscars will think twice about it. And I know that sounds a bit of a stretch because you're thinking, well, the viewership has nothing to do with the theater and the art. It's about the art. You know, Matt Damon is nominated for Martian. I haven't seen it, but it don't seem like it's that deep. Haven't seen it, so it's hard for me to judge it, but I'm just saying, it doesn't seem that deep to me. So I've been watching more and more of the uh, the trailers, the the promotional trailers and commercials for the Oscars. And it hasn't been on purpose. It just seems like it just comes on the stations that I'm watching, I guess. But have you noticed that in the in the uh, promotional trailers that they're going out of their way to show black faces? It's like every other image. I watched a, a trailer just yesterday, and every other image was a black face. So obviously, whoever's promoting it wants black people to watch it. The next time you watch something for the Oscars, say, hey, the Oscars this Sunday, just watch it. Every other image is a black person. None of them are nominated. But they're making real sure to appear to have some diversity. But now I'm reading that not everybody is on the same page. And it reflects what's happening in terms of the black community around the country. And that is, we are not a monolith. Black people don't all think the same. You got black Republicans, you got black Democrats, you got black socialists, you got black anarchists, you got black this, that, and the other. Okay, Black folks you know, run the gamut in terms of uh, the way their opinions on a variety of issues, including the Oscars. Did anybody see uh, Jada Smith, right? Will and Jada. Uh, some people say that Jada went on video, went online to appeal to black Hollywood and appeal to the people because her husband got snubbed for his movie dealing with concussions. And I did not see the movie because they released it during Christmas time. And during Christmas time, the last thing I want to see is a movie about, you know, a sad movie about concussions. I watched that later. I thought they should have released it at another time. Plus, the NFL's making way too too way they're making way too much money to allow something like that. So part of me feels like the long hand of the NFL was involved with making sure that that Will Smith movie dealing with concussions didn't get more fanfare, didn't get more pub, didn't get more time in front of you. Because if Will Smith wins an Oscar for his movie on concussions, then what's that going to do? That's going to reinvigorate. That's going to stir the pot and the conversation about the NFL and the concussions. And not to get too deep into it, basically, these young ball players are killing themselves for money, for the pleasure of a lot of wealthy people. That's what it comes down to, just like boxing. They know it. It's the truth. And some of them are getting hit, and they're leaving the NFL and retiring 
in their 20s, in their early 30s, before the serious and debilitating effects of multiple head trauma really takes hold in their life. I mean, hey, it'd be cool to play in the NFL, I guess, although football wasn't my sport. I was more of a a b-ball kind of dude. But hey, you want to pay me $500,000 to play football? I'm down with that. A lot of people down with that. But I'm reading that Jamie Foxx recently took the stage and said, ah, y'all, this boycott. We don't need to boycott, man. We need to show up and embrace our opportunities. What do you think? I mean, do do you want to see the black Hollywood boycott the Oscars? Is that going to change anything? Does it really matter if black people are nominated for their little golden Jesuses, their little statues? Ah, Some part of me feels like, no, man, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, But tell me what you think. I want to hear what you think. Brent says, yeah, I got that, Brent. I got that. I'll read it later. That's hilarious. Uh, Mike says, looks like we have an idiot in the chat room. Pookie crowd. Yeah, he was out there with that one. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Corey writes, to hell with the Oscars. Mary writes, no Oscars. My cousin is John Singleton, the director. Really? John writes, that's why this show is so important. I was really ready to throw my vote at Hillary just because my dislike for the Republican Party. If she doesn't explain, I may be leaving that portion off the ballot blank or on the ballot blank. Sean writes, no Oscars. Brent writes, I won't be watching. Never patronize it. Pat writes, I was not. I want to see if Chris Rock makes any comments. After his intro, channel change. You know he's going to make some kind of comment about it. Brent writes, the gods of Egypt is losing money big time. It cost $15 million to make and only made $4 million so far. I have seen the trailers for that movie, God of Egypt. And it's the most culturally biased thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Or one of the most culturally biased things I've ever seen in my entire life. Other than the fact that everybody wants to make Jesus white. Uh, Second is, I'm looking at a movie called Gods of Egypt. And all the gods are white. And they're in, I'm talking about European white. Okay? And yet we're talking about Egypt, which is in Africa, thousands of years ago. Uh, Brent writes, our boycott makes a difference. Darnell writes, I will pass on the Oscars, Nate. Uh, Mary writes, my friend married an ex-NFL player who was on the couch. It's sad. Oh, my God. What you mean on the couch? Like, he's dealing with some serious issues? And I've been reading that some of these cats are getting ALS, which is, I wouldn't wor- wish that on my worst enemy, although I don't have any worst enemies. I wouldn't wish that on somebody who was my worst enemy. ALS, look it up, not good. Panther writes, a no vote or non-vote for Hillary means a vote for Trump and the Republicans. Don't be a Gilligan or a Pookie. Oh, okay. Sean writes, Egyptians are black. Yo, Panther, what about third-party candidates? Do they factor in as well? And I get what you're saying. You know, some people say, look, if you go third-party, that's going to take money, that's going to take votes away from the Democrats and Trump's going to win. Yeah, but you also got to take a stand at some point. And whoever said that when you take a stance, it's going to be easy. Okay? Whoever said that? Mary writes, yes, he wore a dress on TV. Professor Greff talks about the sellouts. Yes, Nathan, he is suicidal. That's sad. Very, very sad. Gwenda writes, no Oscars, love concussion, and Bernie Sanders is the man. I, I would have seen concussion came out at Christmas time, man. I don't see that during Christmas time. They need better, you know, placement when the movies are released. Or perhaps they were trying to get it in so it could be considered for the Oscars, even though it didn't win. I don't care how good his performance was in Concussion, speaking of Will Smith. There was no way that the mighty NFL was going to allow that movie to rise to the level that it got a lot of attention from Americans because they're afraid it might affect fans and their viewership for NFL games. Simple as that. Simple as that. Listen, folks, we're a little bit after 9 a.m. this morning. I want to say thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the time. Have a great weekend. Again, the site's still down. It should be up by Monday. I'll let everybody know. Have a great weekend. If you want to connect with me, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to directly connect with me, my email address is nathansflow at, j- at gmail.com. Nathansflow at gmail.com. Again, make it a great Friday. GGIF. Have fun for me. I'll connect with you real soon. I'm Nathan Ivey, and I'm out.
long and abrupt tightly. I meditate in my life on the whole. Ponder in the where, when, how, if I can gain control. It's like a spin of the wheel over the roll of the die. They say that you can be a winner at the game alive, but I know the house don't play to lose. So you better know the math, how to make the move. See, I'm a student of the study, how to proper pursue. A plump portion of the profits produced, paying my dues. So I follow the dolly and avoid the fools. But this is trial by fire, so you must stay cool. One rule. Envy is a powerful tool. Spy your spine all times, everything you do. That way, when the idiots eager get act cool, you can crack those crabs and continue to move. You know, 7 a.m. in the morning, I'm open up. Long night, ain't been to sleep. I grab my pencil and pad, I'm open. I hope you feel me. Remember back to the slenderest times When we pitched for the pretty penny nickel a dime Before the world seemed crooked and the gutter was fine When it was good hood living and the peace of mind Now that's over Life will make a grown man sober Head aching, hanging over, feeling funny inside We never knew the world worked on a bogus design To keep a brother buried deep, broken down and blind Better still, man, it's ill when you look to find There's a